very good morning now i'll be dealing with some of the basic concepts in information theory and coding before starting this let us consider the transmitter block diagram of any digital communication system the first block is the information source the purpose of this information source is the information could be either in analog or it will be in digital form if the source is in analog form it will be converted into digital form by means of sampling and quantization if it is already in digital form directly take as a symbol si then how we can transmit these symbols this is of interest here comes the role of a source coder and a channel coder most of the time this is a frequently asked question by the students sir how a source coder differ from a channel coder once i have a symbol one way of assigning if all the symbols are equally likely then i can assign a binary code based on the uh, how many symbols are there for example four symbols i can assign a two bits for each one 00011011 but in whenever you go for any practical situation i will not get a symbol with equal probability like you take an alphabets what will happen a to z all symbols will not occur with equal probability taking that into consideration in morse code what we will do one a symbol which occur frequently like e e will occur more frequently for that we assign a short code word a dash dot we are going to assign whereas a, any other code word which occur with less probability for that we assign a long code word so what is the purpose here now in source coding based on the probability of the symbol we are going to assign a code word like what we are doing in case of hoffman code and shannon code so i can say we remove the redundancy in case of source code the uh, how we assign the code word in hoffman shano in the later section i'll explain then comes a channel coder here i said in channel code i am going to add redundancy intentionally i am going to add redundancy at the cost of error detection and correction because whenever we transmit a data we know in the channel noise is there it will affect the received signal so our decision may go wrong so to make error free reception intentionally for transmitted data we are going to add a prefix code or some sort of uh, right now code word which helps in detection and correction of the received code word so such code words are linear block code cyclic code and a convolution code so the here i am going to add the redundancy so i'll make its na narrow uh, difference between the source coder and channel coder in case of source code we based on the probability of the symbol we remove the redundancy whereas here we are going to add the redundancy this is the first and the foremost difference between source and the channel coding now i will be explaining how to assign a code using shannon fano coding i'll take two examples in the first example simple one uh, i'll consider there is a source with five symbols s1 s2 s3 s4 s5 with the probabilities 0.3 0.2 0.2 and 0.1 it need not be in the order of decreasing probability even first one 0.1 0.2 to according to the algorithm i have to assign in the order of decreasing probability so the first step is s1 s2 s3 s4 s5 i'll take all the symbols i'll write in the order of decreasing probability the next step is i have to divide this one into two halves with almost equal probability sometimes i may get or i may not get here i am getting i will make into two blocks the first one with a probability of 0.3 0.2 gives 0.5 in the second half i am going to get 0.2 0.2 0.1 this i add this also when you add gives a total probability of 0.5 then assign either one or a zero to the upper one then complement of that to the lower one here there is no rule that it should be one and this is zero based on your assumption you can change so here what i have done i assumed uh, the upper one i assigned 11 one one, and the for the bottom of i am going to assign 0 0 next what i am going to do in the upper half if a single element is there i will stop otherwise i'll make into further two halves with almost equal probability since there are only two elements in this so the first element is 0.3 the second element is 0.2 i am going to get then i'll take this one as the upper half and this is the lower half for the upper half whatever i said i am going to assign a 1 and for the lower one i am going to assign a 0 and i'll stop here because 
single entity is there. Whereas in the second lower half of the first step what happened? I will have three elements. Now what I have to do? I have to make into two halves. Whenever I add these two 0 0.2, 0 0.2, 0 0.4 and this is 0 0.1, the difference is too much. Instead of that I will take 0 0.2 and 0 0.3, the difference is less. Then for the upper half I am going to assign 1, for the lower half I am going to assign 0, 0. In the lower half there are two elements are there. So I am going to apply the rule once again. I will make into 2. For the upper half I am going to assign 1 and for the lower half I am going to assign 0. Then what will be the code word? In the uh, to get the code word I have to proceed in the forward direction. The code word for S1 is 11 and the code word for S2 is 10, S3 is 01 and S4 is 001 and S5 is 000. Means I will have a code of length 22233. I know the probability of the symbol, I am going to calculate the entropy of the system using this formula that comes to be 2.24. And average code word length I am going to calculate L bar, this is bits per symbol right now, L bar is 2.3 means how, what will be the length of the code and the probability if I know I can calculate this. How much efficiency I am going to get H of S by L bar if I calculate it comes to be 97 percent. What is, how much redundancy still it has 1 minus of efficiency that comes to be 2.61 percent. Here what will happen somehow I could be able to assign a code word by making two halves with equal probability. But there are certain cases which I will explain in the next example. Now I will take the second example. Uh, in the second example I will have a source S1, S2, S3, S4, S5 with the probability is 0 0.4, 0 0.2, 0 0.2, 0 0.1 and 0 0.1. So as per the algorithm now I am going to uh, assign a uh, code word for these things, but first I will write S1, S2, S3, S4, S5 with the order of decrease in probability. I said according to algorithm I have to make into two blocks with almost equal probability. Now the confusion start, how to make into two half. See here what will happen, what is the best way I have shown here, 0 0.4, 0 0.2 I have done. So this comes to be 0 0.6 and the remaining half when I add all the probabilities I will get 0 0.4. Why can't we make into a first half with 0.4 and the remaining 0.6? That is also possible. So what is the difference here? This is the best option because when I do with 0.4 and all these 0.6 and when I assign a code word, the variance will be more. So we want a code with minimum variance. So that is why I try to keep uh, whenever there is a difference in the probability, the highest probability should go in the upper half and the lowest probability should come in the lower half. That is what I have done. Instead of dividing 0 0.4 and 0 0.6, I divide like 0 0.6 and 0 0.4, slightly higher probability in the upper one. That will minimize the variance. So as per the right now, uh, Shannon Fenn algorithm, I am going to assign 1, 1 for the upper one, 0, 0 for the lower elements. Since there are two elements, further I will split this into two, 0 0.4 and 0 0.2. There are two elements, so no other way. So I will assign 1 for the upper one and 0 for the lower one. Now I will have 3 elements in the lower half. Once again 0 0.2 and 0 0.2 when I will make into right now, 2 halves I will make 1 element with 0 0.2 and adding this to 0 0.1, 0 0.1 almost the same probability I will get. I will assign 1 for the upper one and 0 for the lower one. Now the last step is this one I have to split into 2 halves with almost equal probability Anyhow, you know, these are 0 0.2, 0 0.1 only, that is why I am getting, I will make into two halves, assigning 1 for the upper one and 0 for the lower one. If I do, do like this, then the code word for symbol 1, symbol 2, 3, 4 and 5, proceeding in this direction, I will get these code words. That is 1, 1 for S1, 1, 0 for S2, 0, 1 for S3, 0, 0, 1 for S4 and 3, 0 for S5. I have explained how to find the efficiency using that formula, you will get 2.12 H of S and L bar 2.2, the efficiency comes to be 96.3, redundancy comes to be 3.7 percent. Now I will request you to go through these variations, sigma x squared, how much it is deviating from the mean value when you calculate, then you can find the difference between assigning 
lower probability for the upper one and the highest probability for the lower one. You can see the difference in the variance.